Hi, I'm Chris with Scott Technology Group, and today we're here to discuss toner and when is the proper time to replace a toner using a Canon C3900DX as our example machine today. So first, our machines are smart enough today to tell us when it needs the toner to be replaced. It will give a message on the screen as well as a red light saying whichever toner, be it color or black, is empty and needs to be replaced. Why is this important? Because if you're low on toner and you replace the toner, you not only are you wasting toner, you're also wasting money. But one of the misconceptions is if the toner is low, then you may have low print quality from there's just not being enough toner in that bottle. That's an incorrect assumption. And you don't need to worry about that. It's preferable for you to run the machine to consume all of its toner and then only replace the toner when the machine prompts you to do so. We're gonna go ahead and run under the assumption today that our machine has told us it is out of toner and it needs us to replace the black toner. So we'll walk through the front of our machine here and we'll go ahead and open our front door. From here, you can clearly see we have our toner bottles, clearly marked from black, cyan, magenta, and yellow. Right now, we're gonna focus on these. Today, our black is out, so we're gonna go ahead and remove our black bottle. And we're gonna put that to the side and discard it. We'll take our new one, remove all the packaging from the bottle, hold it and shake it up and down seven to the 11 times. Once you do so, go ahead and take it, key it to the slot you see cut out in the, in the machine, and just give it a gentle push forward until you feel and hear it click. Once you hear and feel that click, that toner bottle is safely secured into the machine. Now while we're here, I wanna go ahead and point out some other components of the machine. Right below, right below your toner, you have these doors here. If you don't open these up, you will see these parts here with the blue little button. These are your drum units. They're responsible for your image quality. You wanna go ahead and try to avoid messing with these. These are for your technician to deal with to ensure the integrity of your copy quality. So go ahead and just make sure these doors stay closed. As you can see there, which is why we don't want a customer just to go in there. Because if you do not secure the drum entirely and you think it's closed, yeah, as you'll see, the door will not close, and if you force it, you will damage the machine. To avoid that, we just prefer we allow our technicians to go ahead and service those components for you. Go ahead and press it in all the way, and close your gate. Again, this video here is just to point out our toner and how to properly replace them and when to properly replace them. Go ahead and take the front door, give it a close, and at that point, your machine should go ahead and start spinning back up and resuming your print job. If you have any other questions, concerns, jams, or you just need a friendly chat or some help, our number is right here on the sticker on your machine, and we'd love to hear from you. Thank you and have a great day.